What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we are going to break down the entire Destiny 2 Shadow Keep reveal stream, talking about all the legit points worth covering and recapping on things you might have missed also. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like and showing your support really helps me and the channel out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the reveal started with Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy talking about how Destiny 2 will now be known as an MMO, an awesome action MMO as Luke Smith states. Three parts. The first part is being an awesome action MMO. And yeah, we, we like, like, we've been worried about that term for a long time. You know, we've, we've shied away from using MMO. that. Yeah, because it, it comes with a lot of baggage. It's like, does that mean it's a subscription game or you've yeah. got to play with a mouse and keyboard or whatever? But like, man, you know, this is one of those things. We're on our own now and it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It's a duck. Like, we, we can accept the fact that this But is they insist the game will keep its core game feel but will come with a deeper RPG feel and become a single evolving world type game. And we saw further elements of an MMO style game further into the reveal in terms of the way gear will work with Shadow Keep and it's pretty in depth, which we'll see in a sec. They're then going to talk about their new partnership with Google Stadia and how you'll now be able to play Destiny 2 anywhere you have access to Google Chrome and a controller. Sounds good. They're then going to talk about something which we as a community have had many convos over the past 24 hours about and that is cross save. Yes, it's coming. PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Stadia. So yeah, cross save is coming to Destiny 2 finally. Um, and uh, we're super excited about that. What Crosshave is, it is about taking guardians that you've created and being able to play them on any platform. And uh, we are, you know, super excited about that. And we know fans have been asking for a long time. And you know, contrary to maybe what you've heard on the internet, because I just want to be super clear about this, Crosshave is coming to all platforms. Um, all of them. And how this will work will be you linking your accounts via google.net on each platform. And this means you can log off on Xbox, turn on your PlayStation or PC or your Stadia and log straight back into the same couch you left off with. This is amazing and it means I will be dusting off my PS4. Guys, if you play on PS4, follow me and tweet at me for my game attack. Because as soon as this happens, I will be playing on PS4. Why not? My Twitter is linked within the video description. It's at DPJSC08. Okay, so cross save is happening. They then go on to talk about a new free entry point to the game where someone who hasn't played the game yet or left it way back when can pick up Destiny New Light for free and play the game up till the Forsaken DLC but still have access to the moon within Shadow Keep, which we'll talk more about in a second. Everything will be open for you to play, Gambit, Crucible Strikes and so forth, all for 100% free, which is pretty damn cool. New Light starts with the very first mission in Destiny 1 and then progresses straight into Destiny 2 and 15 minutes later you will basically be at Endgame D2 content leveling up in an all in one free to play new way of starting the game. Destiny 2 New Light will be available with Shadow Keep on the 17th of September later this year. Pretty cool. They then go on to state that now Bungie is a standalone company working on the future D2 by themselves. PC players with Shadow Keep will switch launchers. Destiny 2 with Shadow Keep in September will be launching on Steam. Also, people, no more console exclusives. Everything will launch at the same time on every platform. About damn time, if you ask me. It's been a long time coming for an Xbox player like myself. So let's move on to what's next for D2 in terms of the next chapter of the game. So what's next is called the Shadow Keep. And this, like I said, is the next major expansion in the game and will launch on the 17th of September this year. So the basics, the moon returns. And with it, as we speculate over the past few days, Eris Mon. Eris Mon, it seems, will be the main NPC behind this DLC. And the moon as well, although it looks the same to me, they state it will be two times the size it was in Destiny 1, with many, many changes and a huge Scarlet Fortress added and more. The enemy are the shadow, so it seem, but not just any shadow, the shadow of old villains, old names, old enemies, Skolas, Atheon, Crota, Omnigal, Fogoth, Gaul, and more. The darkness has resurrected all our worst fears, 
and Eris is trying to figure out how she unleashed all this madness and she needs our help. So that's basically the plot behind this DLC as of now. So that's the destination for Shadow Keep and what it will offer. But what else is coming? What's changing? And what's making this more like a typical MMO? Well, firstly, gear. This will change drastically. The customization we will have with gear sets with the Shadow Keep will be deeper than ever. Bungie are fundamentally evolving the game as we know it, definitely into a much more of an RPG MMO type of game. So if you had to pick between armors you like the look of, or armors with the perfect rolls going into, let's say, the raid, what are you going to pick? 99% of people will say the one with the rolls which will help you out. With Shadow Keep and this new armor system now known as Armor 2.0, this allows you to take the mods you have unlocked and apply them to any piece of given armor. Take a look. Armor 2.0 is focused on allowing you to take the mods that you've unlocked and apply them to any given piece of armor. When I move my cursor over one of these mod sockets, it immediately shows me all of the mods that are available to me. We also see the return of artifacts, but they will work very differently to how they worked in D1. Now it seems they work sort of like a skill tree selection, selecting 5 additional perks to your loadout, each affecting your way of play. As we do see perks like pulse rifle dexterity. So artifacts will basically be a selection of additional perks. Steve Dolan lead design states that the last tier of perks, Vertical Row 5, will feel almost like exotic perks. Sounds pretty cool. And fidget with these knobs and switches and do all the things that they want to do. When you get to this last tier, each of these perks gets relatively close to what an exotic might feel like. That's going to be a lot of fun. Be a lot of fun. Okay, so moving on, and another new addition to our guardians are finishing moves. Now, exactly how these work wasn't stated, but I'm guessing you activate them on an enemy close to death and you will use a finisher. They ain't real clear on this point though, but what we do see look pretty cool. I can imagine they will be somewhat like what we see in Apex Legends, and this indeed I do like the sound of. So let's move on with the video and talk about new exotics Bungie are working on for Shadow Keep and damn guys, some of these look absolutely insane. We see Bungie are working on a new heavy bow which knocks enemies back upon firing it. They hadn't at the time this was recorded got it down as of yet as you can see, but it still looks pretty cool nonetheless. We also see a new trace rifle. Firing this thing at an enemy creates a big crit spot. We then see this wild looking hand cannon which is basically a sniper rifle it seems. Quoting Bungie, it fires special ammo and it's something like a handheld sniper. Wow! Now it is the only sniper we'll see in the game with a scope on it and as they are working on it at the moment if you fire it too much it lights you on fire. Like what? They then go on to cover PvP and it's sad news people. Trials it seems still isn't even in the works yet and will not be returning with Shadow Keep. Such a shame if you ask me, it's something I feel many of the community, the PvP community, do want back. What they are doing is updating labs to include some much loved game types from the past and they are also redoing and reworking many of the game types in game now. We do see the return of Widow's Court and I do believe this might be Twilight Gap but I ain't certain. So what about the raid with Shadow Keep? What do we know? Well we know little but what we do know is that it will take place on a black garden and that's basically it. There's also no word of Marasoth or Aldrin within this DLC, so it seems they will be left for another day. And that's basically it from the stream in terms of things you need to know about the future of the game. Not as much was revealed about the Shadow Keep in terms of what we got to do as I'd like to have seen, but it is early days as of yet as you can tell by the work in progress exotics for this expansion. A quick note, from what I saw it seems as though 800 power will be the new level to chase as I spied it on a weapon. This ain't confirmed though it could be a placeholder number, not even a max level, it could be just something they added to make us chat, we do not know, but we do know what Bungie are like. But yeah people, much more news to drop over the coming weeks and months as per usual and I will try my best guys to have you covered right here on my channel. But on that note, I am out. Tell me what you think about what's being covered today. Day. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and the continued support. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.